In this video, my plan is to show you how you can apply a hydrostatic load and combine it with a wind load using Altair Simpson. Now, if you haven't used these loads before, a hydrostatic load would represent the pressure exerted by a fluid on a structure such as a tank or a submerged structure. And then the wind load is pretty straightforward. It's the force exerted by wind on a structure. And for this video, I'm going to use a silo that can be used for both fluid and grain storage. And for both the hydrostatic and wind loads, they're both linear tests. So I'm going to start by creating a structural linear test. Now, before I can actually apply these loads, I do need to specify the direction of gravity. So I'm going to hit the gravity icon and I'm going to do a negative on the Z direction. You can see once I hit OK, it shows up over here on my axis as well. And the next step is going to be to add my constraints. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to lock it in place here at the bottom of these legs. And now I can apply my hydrostatic load. Now I'm assuming there's fluid on the inside of this silo that's exerting pressure outward. So to get the faces on the inside, I'll do a section view and just select these internal panels here. And then for the liquid density, I'm going to put a thousand kilograms, which is about the density of water and a pressure on the surface of about 10 PSI. Now my next step is going to be to add a wind load. I'm going to come back over here to the same icon for the wind load, and I can modify the location of the load and the direction of the wind. If I have just a general wind load, I want to apply it. I'm actually going to create a wind profile. So I'm going to add a few rows and just create the first one about a foot off the ground for five inches per second. And then a second one of 15 inches per second at about three feet above the ground. Now I am going to keep the enable shielding checked, which refers to how one structure would block the wind loads from another one. And then I'm ready to hit solve. Now this is sped up quite a bit because the pre-processing of a wind load can take a little bit longer than what you might be used to with SimSolid. So just wanted to point that out there. Then once it's done processing, I can probe the results as I normally would with looking at the stress or finding stress on a specific target point. So hopefully this helps on how you can apply these loads using SimSolid. For more information on SimSolid, go to www.trueinsight.io. Thank you.